Litakuwa dhabiti kesho. There is going to be a generational gap. Leo tuko na wa viongozi wako hapa. Wengine MCS, wengine ni MPs, wengine ni officers wa serikali, wengine ni wakulima, wengine ni wanabiashara. Kesho hatuna uhakika ya kwamba tutakuwa na watu ambao watakuwa viongozi wanabiashara ama maofisa wa serikali ama wakulima. Hatuna uhakika. Chao vijana wetu wale wengi wameingia katika mihadarati na pombe ya ramu. Kwa hivyo mimi kama waziri wenu wa usalama wa ndani na utawala wa nchi nimeorodhesha pombe haramu na miadarati kati ya mambo makuu majanga makuu matatu ambao yanaatarisha yana usalama wa nchi yetu hii mambo ya pombe na miadarati iko katika hiyo orodha ya mambo matatu there are three main challenges of a security nature that poses a great danger to our country's future the continued threat of attacks by terrorists that we must continue being alert and being very vigilant because a small mistake a small gap can bring us untold suffering secondly the northern part of the country the problem of banditry and livestock rustling what is going on there is not just insecurity is a big threat to our country's future stability. Thirdly, in many places of our country, including larger central Kenya and all the urban areas, the threat of illicit alcohol, toxic alcoholic drinks laced with chemicals that are being sold to our youth, hard drugs and substance abuse that is another big threat for our country's future. Kwa hivyo, ile nguvu mmeona nimeweka katika mambo ya kupigana na magaidi. Ile nguvu mmeona nimeweka katika kupigana na wale wezi wa mifugo ambao wanaua watu kaskasini mwa nchi. Hiyo nguvu ndiyo nakuja nayo hapa Central Kenya kupigana na wale wanauzia watoto wetu madawa ya kulevya na pombe ya ramu na wacha niseme hivi unajua wale ambao wanauza mihadarati na pombe ya haramu ambayo iko na sumu ambao wamemaliza kisazi kisima wao wanabahatika kwa sababu wanapata hela lakini wewe umepata bahati umepata pesa mtu mmoja lakini umeangamiza ukoo umeangamiza familia na umeangamiza taifa lewe uko na tegu lewe uko na tegu kwa hivyo atuwezi kukubali faida ya mtu mmoja iweze kutumika kuangamiza taifa tukiangalia na macho na najua wananisikiza mahali wako na wangi wao kwa sababu wametengeneza pesa nyingi kupitia hii sumu najua watajaribu kupinga operation ambayo tunaanzisha lakini nataka niwahakikishie watu wa hapa Kiambu mkoa wakati na sehemu zote ambao jambo hili la miadarati na pombe haramu limekidhili serikali ya William Ruto iko tayari kufanya vivyote vile kuangamiza biashara haramu ya pombe ya sumu na miadarati na sisi ni kuhakikishie hii serikali itashinda hiyo vita wengi 
tukianza operation wanaanza kupiga simu wanapigia OCS wanapigia OSPD wanapigia regional commissioner wanapigia waziri wengine wanapigia mbunge wanapigia governor na wale wengine hii vita tunaanza all leaders national government county government elected leaders officials of government do not call me to discuss any matter that pertains to people who are suspected to be involved in the sale and distribution of illicit alcohol and drug abuse hakuna kitu ya kujadiliana wengine watasema oh biashara yetu inaharibika si ndio wanasemanga biashara gani hii ya kuuza sumu si ni hakuwa watu kuna tofauti ya ule mtu amepika hiyo sumu hapo kando ya mtu anauzia watoto wetu wengine wameaga dunia nisikia reverend akiongea hapa na, na uchungu na huyu ni mtu ya Mungu watoto wake wenyewe wameumia alafu unatuambia ati tunaumiza biashara serikali ya William Ruto iko tayari kuchukua jukumu ya kisiasa kupigana na wale watu wote ambao wanauza sumu na hata kama ni kura itapungua rais ameniambia ako tayari kupunguza kura yake kidogo naye aokoe taifa la Kenya Sijui kama hapo ni sawa ameniambia nitangaze kwa sababu wanatishia sisi wanaanza kupigia hawa Ambia rais aende pole pole siju unajua sisi ndio tulikuwa tunaunga mkono sijui nini A, mambo ya kusupport serikali na pesa ya kifo atutaki si namna hiyo tupambane na hao watu mmenipatia ruhusa tupambane na hao watu regional team county team mmesikia kwa hivyo niko hapa leo kusema ya kwamba sisi kama watu wazima Mungu ametujalia tume, tume, tumekuwa watu wazima katika nchi nzuri tumepata nafasi kidogo na wale ambao hawajapata kazi tunatafuta kazi yao lakini hatuwezi kukaa hapa na kuangalia nchi ikiangamia tukiambiwa ya kwamba labda tunapiga biashara ya watu sijui tuta kura sijui nani hata pigua kura mimi nataka kuambia hao watu ambao wamechaguliwa na kura wewe kama unaona hii vita ya kupigana na madawa na pombe ya sumu ukiona inahatarisha kura yako usitufuate kwa operation kaa nyumbani kufanya kazi yako mimi na hao maofisa tutakufanyia hiyo kazi ama namna gani so ule ajiski kama umechaguliwa MCA ama government rep ama governor na unaona utaki kuingilia hii mambo ndio kura yako isiharibike wewe kaa nyumbani Siyo kama tunaelewana. Kwa hivyo leo niko hapa na niko hapa nimesema mwenye amenituma na nimesema kile amenituma kufanya hapa. Kwa hivyo kama njia ya hapa hii area ya Sianda na kiambaa kwa ujumla kama njia moja ya kumaliza pombe ya ramu na hiyo mambo ya ukosefu wa usalama nimetangaza mambo ya police station nimetangaza mambo ya new officers nimetangaza mambo ya gari ya polisi lakini vile vile nimekuja hapa ku, 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 kuanzisha division mpya ambayo ofisi imekamilika na vile vile kuwaletea DO na baada ya hii e, taarifa yangu tuta nitakuwa hapa ili ni e, wakikisha ya kwamba nimeacha ACC wa Sianda amevalishwa kirauni na aanze kazi kutoka saa nane siku ya leo Nikirudi Nairobi ni salamia Rais William Ruto Ni msalamie na Deputy President na serikali nzima ni wasalamie wangapi wananituma na salamu ya Rais hapa Asanteni sana regional commissioner just finished the remaining parts
so that we can move on to the next thing. So if you're ACC wetu, ambaya tumeleta siku ya leo, ACC wa kwanza wa division ya sianda. Eh? ACC wa kwanza, dio wa kwanza, wale walikuwa naitua dio zamani, wa e sianda division, anaitua Ramadhan Hussein. Na yeye, ako wapi? Ako hapo. So hiyo kipindi mebaki, Bas, Bwana Ramadhan Hussein, Assistant County Commissioner wa kwanza wa Division ya Sianda. Mimi kama waziri wa usalama wa ndani na utawala wa nchi na kukabidhi hizi vyombo kama ishara ya nguvu na mamlaka ya serikali. Ukatende kazi yako, fanyia wananchi kazi bila mapendeleo kwa mujibu ya katiba na sheria ya Kenya. Hii ni coat of arms. Hii ni coat of arms wananchi wanaita kirauni. Na hii ndio serikali. Hii ndio ishara ya serikali. This is to equip you to serve the people of Sianda and every other part of Kenya where your service will take you in future. SEC. It's okay. Thank you. Believe it. When I was saying SEC, na kukabidi bendera ya taifa ya Kenya, ambayo ni nembo ya uhuru wa inchi yetu nembo la taifa letu na hii iwe mikononi mwako uhakikishe kwamba serikali imewakilishwa hapa na huduma ya serikali nafikia mwananchi na utumikia wananchi wote bila mapendeleo kulingana na katiba na sheria ya inchi yetu congratulations Bas, si umeona sasa muko na ACC, na unaona ni kijana. Eh? Kwa hivyo sasa, ACC umesikia hile kazi kwa hapa. Na nimesema uanze kazi kwa mtia saa nane, sasa saa nane mebaki dakika nane. So, you can say something and then we can take some photo. We wish you all the best. Congratulations. Buenas sias, sa. RC, all protocols observed. Thank you, sir. Na chukua fursai kwa kukushukuru kwa udiria na kutufungulia ofisi yetu mpia na kuweza kunipatia fursa ya kuweza kwa udumia wananchi wa sianda na niko tiari kufanya kazi nao chini ya uongozi ya DC na ACC na kwa usaidizi ya uh, all other security members. Asante, sir. Aha. Muko na diyo ama amna? Mudiyo mnae amna? Sizaza kazi yendele? Asante, di sana. Iyo mambo mengine yote tumesema tutafanya. Tuanatakia baraka za mungu. Nikikaka vile kawanjiku wa mesema mweshimiwa. Nitarudi hapa tena ili tuangalie mambo ingine hapa tunaweza kufanya ya kimaendeleo. Sina mna hiyo? Asante ni sana mungu wa bariki. Thank you very much.
Thank, thank you wasiri wetu tumeshu Ah uh, ningeomba tusimame sote tupate wi Thank you so much. Tumeshukuru kwa mkutano wa leo. Sasa tumemaliza.